Hello and welcome to Chinny Vision. This time, some tips on getting some old cartridges working. I'm guessing for 90% of you this is beginner's stuff, but recently a friend of mine got his SNES out of storage after many years and he couldn't get any of the games to work. And he was in a bit of a panic because he wanted to play Super Mario Kart. And obviously what it turned out to be, and he didn't know this, was the cartridges weren't just dirty, they were filthy. Even the techniques he used back in the 90s, although to be fair, those techniques used to usually involve licking your finger and wiping it across the connector. That's a bad thing. And if you're interested, coincidental with mine, which I guess watching this channel, they probably are, you probably spend your Saturday and Sunday evenings on eBay picking up cartridge games for old consoles for not a lot of money at all. I'm certainly not buying it now, but actually just going on and picking things up for, for a couple of quid, usually with extortionate postage rates. And the games turn up and they, they look like this. There's a copy of Operation Wolf. Don't know if it's got the manual or not. No, it doesn't. Um, if you can see there, there's a cough. Someone's put a cup on there at some stage on the cartridge box. It's, it feels slightly tacky. And if we look inside the connector, yeah, it's all dusty. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But it's, it's, all, it's all dusty and it looks pretty grotty indeed. I don't know if you can see inside this cartridge, but it's pretty manky. Um, it's full of gunk and dust and horrible stuff. And basically when you plug it into the mask system, surprise, surprise, it doesn't work. So what do you need? And I was gonna get these out the way here and just leave the cartridges in shot. What do we need to clean up cartridges like this? Well, licking your fingers and rubbing it along the cartridge connector simply is not an option. Getting a bit of kitchen roll that's damp, rubbing it along there, not an option at all. It'll leave residue on there and it still probably won't work. These cartridges are 30 years old after all. So this is what you need. You will need some IPA cleaner, that's isopropyl alcohol. You'll also need something to wipe the cartridges with and these are Specialist cotton buds from RS, the ones out of uh, your partner's makeup bag, are not sufficient. Got a bag there. You may also need some solvent cleaning wipes. Um, these are essentially isopropyl alcohol on specialist wipes. These can be handy. You don't necessarily need these, but if you're doing a full cleanup job, you might. You can probably see there's some nasty residue on the cartridge there. And we're going to clean the whole cartridge, not just the connector. And finally as well, just handy to have some basic surface cleaning wipes. You can see that on camera there. Um, these are basic standard cleaning wipes used for screens and things. Can be useful to have around, not essential, though it can be useful in certain circumstances. And you will also need a flask of weak lemon drink. All right, so we're gonna get rid of all this and have a look at cleaning one of these cartridges up. Right, so I've got my Super Tennis cartridge here, got my isopropyl alcohol, and what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit into there and use the swab that's in my finger there to wipe the muck off there. So hopefully you can see this there. So quite a lot, quite a lot there. It's not too bad, not the worst I've seen by any means. into that there you go that's a bit that's a bit better there to catch the light that's not too bad you can see a bit of gray and muck on there but not too bad and then once you've done with the edge connector just go around the inside as well and give it a give it a wipe and what you do want to be careful of with isopropyl is it dissolves glue. So be careful not to let it too near the, the labels. There we go. That's not the worst I've seen by far, actually. Let's do a super 
and that's super tennis. Let's do this Operation Wolf one as well. So let's get another swab. Let's get that out of shot a second. Again, just spray that one in there. Just give it a little bit. Isopropyl alcohol dissolve, uh, dissolves. It's, it's pretty much 99% alcohol, so it evaporates um, really easily. So hopefully you can just see that there. Again, this one's not too bad. I've had some that have been so... Yeah, the, the, the cotton bud comes off you know, with black and stuff on it. These aren't actually that bad. So that's the... Let's do the inside there. That's the, the cartridge itself done. Got a little bit of residue on there. We want to get rid of In fact, that super tennis one has more residue on it. So I think the... One of these isopropyl solvent cleaning pads is probably too, it's probably overkill for the outside of this case. And there's a little bit of glue residue there. So what I'm gonna do is just give that a little bit of a spray of the isopropyl there and just go on these surface cleaning wipes and just give that a rub there. And that has all come off. Back as well. Look at that. Oh, it's all gone brown and nasty on the on the tissue there. Give it a good old wipe. You can go on, as long as you're careful on the label, just be aware that isopropyl will dissolve glue. So which is odd enough while we're using it because there's some kind of tacky material on there. This one's got something on it as well. Let's give that a little bit of a Spray, get that out the light there. And that, geez, that's, that's a mark of some description. I don't think it's glue. Oh, no, it is. There you go. Didn't need a little bit of elbow grease there to get that off. And those cartridges are, yeah, a little bit battered and used, but... Uh, they should work like new, hopefully, when we plug them into the Sega Master System. Now, the cases. And uh, there's the, here's the Operation Wolf case there. Um, again, isopropyl is quite good, but what I'm actually going to do is take, the, take that out, and I'm going to go hardcore on this with one of the isopropyl wipes, I think, just to show the power, because you can see... If you can see that, that's some sort of coffee cup on there. That's just what do people do with these cartridges, don't they? I mean, I used to keep my games nice. Some of these people seem to live in pigsties and just kind of throw things and all sorts of things over their cartridges. Just oh, so there we go. That's uh, not the worst case I've seen. I've seen some that I had, I had a copy of Quartet that I reviewed back in the early days of Chinny Vision that um, was absolutely oh dear, I don't know what it had on it. I've never had to clean a cartridge like that. It's still not 100% all of the time we load it in. So um, this is an isopropyl solvent cleaning pad. And this should be the absolute best thing for getting this off here. And it will dry really quickly. If you can, if you can see that on the camera there, that is just bringing all that stuff off it. Let's get that. Something on the spine there. Just be aware with isopropyl as I get a whiff of this stuff. Um, it, it is flammable. And just be aware that if you're using it in an enclosed space, you could actually get quite dizzy. I've, I've done that um, when cleaning electronic circuit boards with this stuff. It's, isopropyl is really good stuff, but it also should, should probably really use gloves when using it as well, because it does tend to dry out your skin. Uh, beauty chips from Chinny Vision there. All right, so give that a wipe over on the inside. I'm just giving a general overview of, of cleaning these things. Um, you know, they're, they're, some people are really going to far more depth than I do, but this is what I generally do every time I get a new cartridge in. Give that case a wipe over on the inside. 
as well. It just keeps them, it just means that when you get it off the shelf, it's going to work unless the cartridge is really been abused like my quartet cartridge which is still I think it's just been played too much um you know it does sometimes take a second time to be plugged into the car into the console but most of the time it'd be absolutely fine one vital thing to say of course is also keep the connector inside the console clean um so you know it's no good having a clean edge connector on your cartridge when inside the console it's all filthy and then it's not it's still not going to make a good connection when it's plugged in and i'm showing sega mask system cartridges here but this equally applies to mega drive snes cartridges pretty much any any cartridge system really even the game boy if you get a small enough swab and get inside the the cartridge it this all this applies the cleaning of the case is obviously just for aesthetic reasons, but the vital part is cleaning that edge connector in there. So, and that will just make sure the cartridge just works when you plug it into your Sega Master System. So let's give this a go in the Master System and see if Operation Wolf actually works. Yep, in we go. First time into the mask system. And yeah, it all works. And the Super Tennis works as well. And this is probably the first 4K footage of a Sega Master System on YouTube. So I hope that was helpful. I realise for 90% of you, this is teaching your grandmother to suck eggs. But it just became apparent to me when my friend was having these problems that you get these cartridges out of storage you might have a friend who gets their cartridge out of storage and the thing doesn't work and you may be able to point them to this video or indeed you may not know what isopropyl is um and you know can of this from rs is about 14 15 pounds you can get smaller ones um but it's really useful stuff to have around as well for all sorts of things. Your edge connectors on your Amstrads and your Spectrums and all sorts of things. This stuff, all this stuff applies to anything with edge connectors on it or anything that needs a connection. Not just Sega Master System and you know 8-bit cart and 16-bit cartridges, but anything that needs a good connection. Even my Spectrum Plus Three, when I um, the reset button stopped working, I squirted it with isopropyl, left it to dry and it worked beautifully afterwards. So it's a, because it evaporates so quickly. And the one thing to say is, don't immediately put it back into your console. Let it dry for 15 minutes or so. Isopropyl does evaporate really quickly, but you know, any kind of moisture and electronics aren't good to combine. So just make sure they're dry beforehand. So I hope that was useful to anyone who wants to, who's having problems with their, games cartridges again apologies to 90 percent of you who know all this stuff but i just suddenly felt well you know we could do a little tutorial on this and no i haven't forgotten you can drink your weak lemon drink now <laughs>